hello everybody i am back with another grammar topic today and the topic for today is comparison of adjectives so basically in the previous video we have talked about the adjectives and the various uses of adjectives how the uses of adjectives differ as per the context so this time i am going to talk about how do we compare adjectives so this is basically no need to worry about what exactly it is it is use single adjectives to compare to compare for example if you can see my screen i have written happy happier and happiest so if i hide both of them if i say that they do not exist and i am only looking at this person then i can use a simple form saying that happy but if i am looking at both of them only two of them are there on my screen so i will compare him with this person and then i will say happy and happier but if i compare all three of them then my way of describing them would differ so basically we need to understand first point that is why do we need comparison of adjectives or how, why do we need different words it is because if one day i say that there are three balls kept and i do not tell you that how does the ball, uh, ball differ and i ask you to please get the big ball so one person will say this ball is big the other person will say this ball is big and the next person will say this ball is big but the point is i need to tell you that if there are three balls kept right so i need to tell you in a manner that you can differentiate between the three by looking at it of course you can make a difference but in while we are talking we should be able to make the difference as well so in that case that is the reason we have come across different kind of words which we use so in the next part we are going to talk about how we use different words the spellings differ there is there are certain rules that we need to keep in mind so what is a prerequisite prerequisite basically means before we start talking about comparison of adjectives we need to revise certain things so first thing is syllable rule or what are syllables and the second thing is adjectives i think uh, we have done adjectives and syllable rules in our previous grades in case you want uh, some help with syllable rule then please write it in the comment section i can prepare a separate video because it is a bulky topic that what are syllables and what are the rules how how do we count the syllables so these are the things which come into that category in case you want it you can leave it as a comment so till now i am assuming that you are clear with both the rules syllable rule and adjectives so basically if we look at it here degrees of comparison so we the name of this topic that is comparison of adjectives is degrees of comparison so there is a proper name given to these degrees positive comparative and superlative so when we are looking at one thing it is called positive when we are looking at two things and we are comparing them it is called comparative and superlative means when we are looking at more than two things when we are looking at more than two things we call it superlative degree of comparison so we can how how do we remind uh, remember all these things comparative comparative when we are comparing two things comparative and superlative means the superpowers have come so this becomes when we are comparing more than two objects first we are going to talk about positive degree 
so positive degree is the simple form of adjectives which we have done so if you look at the list over here beautiful smelly sunny dangerous tall shiny large interesting good bad popular healthy creative hot lazy happy fast delicious exciting old smart long loud these are simple form no comparison is made so for example ma'am is asking you to describe this person i am not asking you to compare this person i am just asking you to give me a describing word for anybody or any particular thing you can use any of the words in the similar manner in which they are on the screen right now for example you can say this person is tall this person is old or this person is lazy i will not uh, say that you are going to compare it with something else so two things we need to keep in mind first it is the simple form so all those words describing words which we have done till now or adjectives which we have done till now are simple form of adjective right and the second most important point about this category is no comparison is made next next we have comparative degree comparative as the name suggest when we are comparing two things this is one thing or one person and this one is the other person so when we are comparing two people two person or two things okay we call it comparative degree okay sometimes we also compare set of things for example we have done collective nouns we have also talked about things which we identify as collective right so this is i have made a plate kind of a thing so that you remember first is when we compare two things and the second one when we compare two set of things so if you look at the left hand side of the screen there is a table given here although i have done it in elaboration later but let me put emphasis over here so if i say this boy is big this boy is bigger this boy is bigger i say he is dangerous but he is more dangerous i am circling certain things so you will get to know more about it later but i say he is a good boy but i say this person is better than him okay this person is better than him we can use these words also so if you look at the three categories on one side i am adding er in the other category i am using the word more in the other category i am just changing the word so there are certain rules which we keep in mind when we change the simple form of adjective so as to use it to compare two things okay third category is superlative degree it is superlative degree so it is the highest degree of comparison when we compare more than two things or set of things okay when more than two objects or set of objects are compared we call it superlative degree one thing more that we need to keep in mind we we most of the time use the word the with the superlative form of adjectives so now i'm going to come to the rules so that is the reason i asked you that syllables are really important how do we change simple adjectives into comparative and superlative form adjectives with one syllable so all the adjectives or words with one syllable sound we add er to make it into comparative and we add est 
EST to change it into superlative degree. So that is rule number one. We add ER to the word. For example, the word is long. So this line is long. Now I make another line. Now this line becomes longer. Why am I adding ER? Because there are only two lines over there in my screen. And I want to make a difference to them. So I have added it as added the uh, letter team ER at the end. It becomes longer. But now if I draw another line. So this line becomes the longest. Longest. Okay. One thing I am repeating again. Words or adjectives with one syllable sound. So all of them have only one syllable sound. Okay, one syllable sound. I am sorry, it has to be one vowel sound or what we call syllable. So, what do we do in that case? We add ER in order to compare two objects and we add EST when we have to make it into the superlative form. Rule number two. So, this rule says when an adjective ends with a Y. So what is coming at the end of the word? It is letter Y preceded by a consonant. So what is coming before Y? It is a consonant. Okay. So dash dash is the word. But at the end we know there is a Y and just before Y there is a consonant. Okay. Plus have two syllables. So these words have two syllables. How do they have two syllables? We have done it in previous uh, videos also that Y makes I sound and it acts as a vowel at times. So crazy, crazy, crazy. It has how many vowel sounds? Two vowel sound. It is ending with letter Y. And it has a consonant just before Y. So when we have to change it into comparative degree, we add, what do we do in that case? We cross out the letter Y. Okay. And we add I, E, R. Simple. We have to do two things. What is that thing? We have to cut letter Y. So I have cut letter Y and I'm adding I E R in place of Y. This we are doing when I am making it as a comparative form. But when there are more than two people or more than two things for which I have to do the comparison, what I do in that case, I cut the letter Y, add I E S T. Okay. I am cutting the letter Y and I am adding I E S T. So this becomes crazy, crazier, craziest. Okay. Happy, happier, happiest. So this is the example which we have taken from the first slide. There are certain different examples also, but here I am just explaining the concept. Okay. Next. Here comes the rule number three. So let me mark it. Rule number three. Adjectives with two or more syllables. Two or more syllables. Or sometimes three or more syllables. So why am I writing two or more syllables or three or more syllables? Because we don't have to look that they are ending with Y. Okay, so they can end with a vowel sound, with a consonant sound, apart from letter Y. Okay. Now, what do we do in that case? They have more than two syllables or two syllables. Expensive. Expensive. Let's look at the first word. Expensive. So, we have 
three vowel sound three vowel sound so what do we do in that case we use the word more 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 to make it into comparative form and we use the word most to make it into superlative form so basically when we are comparing two things i see that his house is uh, more expensive than mine than mine so in comparative form we usually use the word than also when we are framing sentences okay so i say his house is more expensive than mine whereas if we are looking at three different houses or we are looking at four different houses we will say this is the most expensive house i have ever seen so in that case i am looking at all the houses i have seen till now in my life okay this becomes the superlative degree next there is one more category which is irregular category so with this is although i should not be giving it as a number but still irregular means they do not have any pattern there is no rule these words are made as they are so of course neither you can do anything to it or i we just have to learn it the way it is there is a list which i have prepared so there is more to it you can find it from your surroundings so it's bad this is the comparative degree and this is the superlative degree okay this is the positive bad worst worst far when i am talking about distance so if a is here and b is standing here i say far okay farther a is a for cause if there is one house he is far from my place this person is farther from my place and if i have one more person over here then i will say this person is farthest okay now far extent further for this good better best ill worse worst late later latest or last latest is used when we are talking about the collection this is the latest collection that means it has just arrived or this has just arrived and last means i am last one to finish my work okay less lesser least little less least many more most much more most so these are some forms of uh, irregular words which we have so that's it i hope the concept of uh, adjectives that is comparison of adjectives is clear in case it isn't and you have certain doubts also you can leave it in the comment section i will respond to it as soon as possible and in case again i am reminding if you need any help with the syllables or how do we count the syllables then please let me know i'll make a video soon and upload it thank you